Today we're going to be changing the spark plugs in a 2002 Toyota Camry V6 3.0. Here's three of the plugs that we've pulled already. These are the original Toyota plugs. I believe that's 140,000 miles on these plugs. Uh, NGK Iridium. Here is the uh, new plug. The gap should be set at, uh, for this car at uh, 0 0.043. Uh, these are supposed to be preset. According to the book, you're not supposed to try to uh, set the gap. It could damage, I guess, the iridium or uh, maybe some other metals. But uh, anyway, do what you want. Uh, if you want to try to set it, that's fine, I guess. But um, we're going to leave them like they are. And we've already got three out, as you see. And let me show you these first three that we got out. So here's the first three. There's a beauty cover here. Well, I've took that off. You don't have to take that off to get to the first three. First three are really, really easy to do. Just um, unscrew the 10 millimeter bolt here, lift it out, unplug the coil packs, and then lift the coil out, spark plugs underneath there. Just use a, um, uh, let's see, what size socket are we using over here? The socket is a 5 8 or 16 millimeter. It's the typical uh, spark plug socket with the rubber boot in there. So you can pull the plug out. Taped up the socket to the extension here. This is an 8-inch eight, eight extension. Uh, part of this job is going to require different extensions and different size wrenches. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, these were really easy. Really super easy. Uh, the other three are not so easy. They're behind the plenum near the firewall. So uh, kind of a pita to get to. But uh, let me show you uh, how we got to the first one here. We had to do was I can see here again. Got to get some lighting here. So getting to that first spark plug under the plenum here, we took off this PVC hose here. This plug goes in right here, plugs in there, and then on the other end of the hose, pulled it off away from the, out of the plenum. Then right here, there's two ground wires. Here's one, uh, the other one. Also, we, we unplugged the uh, battery a negative uh, cable to do this. Uh, the other, the other one was right here. Other ground. Just pull both of those off. That gave us a little more space here to work uh, in. Uh, then we unplugged the the wire from the um, from the coil pack, and we were able to lift the coil pack out at that point. Here's a look at a coil pack. It's got a uh, little uh, rubber washer here, so make sure that you don't drop those. Off here. Uh, need rubber gloves.
Grab the branch. Okay, so after um, getting the first one out, uh, we've got the coil pack out of the second one and the third one. Uh, sorry, we weren't, weren't able to show you that, but um, I'm going to move on to the third one. Uh, the third one, I've had to use a smaller wrench. Um, I've already got it on there, so I'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, also, I'm using a smaller extension for this uh, to get the wrench on. I'm using two three inch extensions uh, connected. Uh, the reason I have to use a, a little bit of a smaller one is because of the, the firewall back here. It's just too hard to put an eight inch extension on. Uh, I'm going to try for this on the getting to it at the passenger side here. Uh, you can see my arm over here. Now you could get over through here, through the, uh, from behind the throttle body uh, to it, you could possibly do that. Uh, I couldn't really manage that with the wrench, the small wrench that I had, and you're gonna need a small wrench to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna try to break this one loose. I'm gonna put my hand, oh, also, let me just back up. You have to take all the connectors off before you can pull the um, coil packs out. I don't know if I said that. So yeah, connectors and pulled out, coil packs out. Okay, I've got, the spark plug wrench on the plug so I'm just going to try to square it with this hand here ah it's a bear So I had to use like two fingers to to get that. <clears throat> so um, we loosened it. I just have to gradually turn it off. Okay, I've repositioned myself now on the other side. Took the wrench off. really snug in there as far as getting your hand in there so that's the uh, that's the third third one so we're gonna go for the middle one now I'm gonna go ahead and put the plug in that third one the new plug and then we'll go for the second plug which is probably the most difficult one so here's a look at the uh, setup here to get that third one out um, socket plus two three inch extensions taped everything together the wrench was a quarter inch driver so put a uh, little adapter on here so uh, now i'm going to go ahead and put the new one in using the same setup here
have a wrench. I'm gonna come on, come on that side just to get my wrench out. I believe. Ah. Yeah, so I got to tighten. I just gotta get the wrench out. All right, so I'm putting the coal pack in. Just gonna drop it down, and now I've got the bolt out. So I'm gonna put it in separately. Just going to line up the that bolt hole. Can see it, it's right. Right there. All right, hand me the bolt. Okay, I'll tighten that down and then put the uh, connector on the coil pack. I'll probably do that from the other side. All right. All right, now we're back to the second one that's loosened up. Uh, wrench is off. So I just have the extension in there and I'm turning it. Uh, the spark plug should be loosened enough so I can just pull the whole spark plug and extension out at the same time. Okay, new plug going in. Okay, so I've got it in, just need to hand tighten it, then I'll grab the wrench. All right, so, <clears throat> so putting that second coil pack in. Putting the second coil pack in, I'm gonna go in this way. I'm just feeling the hole, dropping the coal pack in. I'm going to line up the bolt hole. All right, so the coal pack is in place. I've got the bolt sitting there. I'm going to go in there and hand tighten that. Going in from over here, there's no way to get to it. But I can anyway from up there. Or back behind the firewall on that side. So I can't see anything. I'm just I'm just feeling everything here. So that's going in uh, easy so I can put my wrench on it. Just about right now. Okay, I have the connector lined up on the second plug here, coil. I'm just going to push that in place. All right. Now I still have to clip on the third one over here. I'll do that last. All we have to do is put the uh, coil pack in here in the first one. 
uh, we left that out so we could get to, so it'd be easier to get to the second one so I put that one in now that now and put that in all right so I've got the bolt tight so I just need to uh, put the connector on and just need to put the connector on this third one over here and then we're finished clip on okay all the plugs are in now uh, we're gonna put the PVC hose back on this end is to go on and clamp right there then the other end right there plug goes in there so that end is in. Let me just put the plug in here. All right, we're good for that. Put these two grounds on. I'm gonna grab the uh, nut for these. Where's that other ground? I just want to grab the nut. What is it, 12, right? Okay, that does it for changing the spark plugs in a Camry B6 3.0.